Well, this wasn't to get a win. I know it's just the preseason, but still to go out there put the NBA uniform on and get a win. Huge, man. Huge. Felt great. Um, there's like 2.2 seconds left. Uh, Coach Vaughn drew up an incredible play. We executed. I hit Drewski. Drewski knocked it down. I was so excited. Um, I had to compose myself a little bit because it's preseason, but man, I I was thrilled that we could go into overtime and have a chance to win. What does the preseason mean for you guys, especially with a young team? How can it be beneficial for you guys? It's been so you know, it just builds good habits. That's the first thing that's going to do for us. Um, if we could build good habits now and carry that into the regular season, that's going to be all for us. Anything in particular that other than that shot that uh, Andrew made to send the game into overtime. Anything that sticks out from last night as far as your play? You know, just uh, how rhythmic the game is. You know, it's just all in rhythm. Um, it's not very stagnant. You know, everybody kind of knows where they're supposed to be, and uh, there's a good flow to the game. That's pretty much the same thing. That, uh, the main thing that stuck out to me um, for my game, you know, I was uh, happy the way I played defense. You know, there was a few breakdowns here and there. But, uh, no, man, just on to the next game, trying to improve. Nothing at all like, or very little like what you saw here during the summer league as far as you know, the free-flowing and lack of stacking. No, it's, it's a lot different. Teams have put their offense in, or their primary offense, so um, it makes the game flow a little bit better. Did you take a moment just to take it all in and say, man, this is, this is the association, man. This is what it's all about. Yeah, definitely, definitely. When we... Uh, when I started and I came out, uh, I was one of the first on the floor uh, before the game, and that's when I took it in. Veterans didn't pull any rookie prank on you or Alfred, did they? No, no, these are some good guys, man. Um, real good guys. I mean, they're not that much older than us. Uh, they've been through it. They know how they understand. They can empathize with us. So it's okay. How has the past week been? I mean, not just last night, but since the start of training camp. Or what did you? What's been most, what have you taken away more than anything from you? Yeah. Um, just to trust myself, uh, be confident, be aggressive. Um, I, I've, I have earned my right to play um, on this floor with NBA players um, and, and to continue my confidence and uh, try and get a win. After he finished, how much are you looking forward to that second preseason game? Unlike college, you know, the NBA, you play about every other day. I mean, how much are you looking forward to getting out there again and, and putting your skills to the test? I had so much fun <laughs> uh, last night, right? Yeah. So much fun last night. Um, I'm just excited. Each game, uh, something new. That's the thing about basketball. You just never know what's going to happen. And uh, to go out there and live my dream out is just a whole lot of fun. Depending on how long Channing is out, how is that going to impact your role? Might you be playing a little bit more four than, uh, I, mean, you know, I presume you're mostly at the three now. I'm not sure. I'm not the coach. I'm not the coach's staff. So whatever they want to play me at, they can play me at. What type of challenges did Lou Aldang's game give you during the game? And how do you think you adjusted to his style as the game progressed? He moves a lot. You know, I... Uh, the offense that we run in practice, um, the wings aren't moving so much. It's more coming off on balls and not uh, screens, you know, uh, down screens or back screens. So uh, I just had to be a little bit more aware um, of where it was and uh, just be active all the time. How was the defensive communication like last night in comparison to what you were used to at Summer League or at Arizona? Is it more talking between you guys? How's that? A little bit, a little bit throughout the game. It's a longer game than uh, college, so. Uh, the talking has to continue throughout the whole game, but you know we talked to Arizona and we talked to Summer League. That's one thing that I'm able to do, and uh, the older guys were helping me out with that too. All right. Thanks, Aaron. I know it's only the preseason and it's only one game, but this team didn't win a whole lot of games on the road last season. So we come away with a win last night. Uh, maybe a little more than your average preseason game. Yeah, it was an exciting game. You know, it was definitely exciting. Um, however, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh weren't playing in the last few minutes of the game. Also, they don't have LeBron James anymore, so it makes it a different Miami Heat team. Um, but, you know, it is preseason. Uh, people are trying to save themselves a little bit for the regular season. Uh, but to go out there and win is, I'm enthusiastic about it. Was there ever any thought, or were you kind of surprised that there wasn't a three pointer drawn up uh, for that last shot? I wasn't sure. Teams oh, didn't want to play overtime in the uh, no, preseason. No, that, that was that was the perfect play. Uh, Coach Vaughn could have drawn up. Perfect, you know. Uh, Andrew could hit that shot ten times out of ten, and he had a wide open look. I executed the pass, and uh, he knocked it down. That was exciting. How many game winning assists do you usually get in your life? 
I don't know. Or at least game tying anyway, but. Game tying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, thanks.